Hey guys, Hope Enough here. Going to be the reaction to Fallout Equestria Dead Road Part 2. I wanted to go with my camera, but it is completely broke now, so... I'm just... Going to go with my pony OC, but I'm just not going to have him emo, because... He doesn't really... Really fit in... With the image and whatnot. I mean, I... Tried changing this to make it look better, but... When I did, it completely screwed up my video camera, so I kind of have no choice. Well, not just the video, but my recording thing I'm using, screencast o -Matic, so I'm basically just going to have to just voice and just have my pony OC there and not have it too big. People recommend me to talk a little bit more. In the past, people got pissy about me and talking too much, but I'll try to even it out, just try... I wrote down all the names of the ponies so I won't get confused like last time. So, like last one, I was just confused as hell because no one gave me info about who was who until I had to ask at the very end of it. But, before we get going, it's a little short story I've been wanting to read. It was the one I thought of like many months, or, yeah, roughly a month ago. It was a very silly one. I guess we just get to it. Uh, the stallion and his human friend are walking to the college campus. The stallion spoke. You know, I am the most attractive stallion all the campus. His friend rolled his eyes. The stallion looked over to the right and sees two mares sitting on a bench, chatting. He then said, I bet I can get, I can get those two hot mares to fall head and hoof over me. His friend scoffed and said, I'm sure you can. The stallion walked toward the lake to the mares while looking at his friend and said, Watch and learn from the master. He jumped in front of the mares and said, Ladies! He slipped from a puddle and fell down the stairs by the, by the mares. The two mares looked at each other and burst out laughing. His friend walked up and said, down the steps to his friend. Oh, you're a master, all right. A master at falling, he laughed. Yeah, that's my short story. I may have others, but this is just one of them. If you guys got a little giggle out of that, I'm not really good at writing, sort of, or reading them because of my crappy disability. But anyway, let's get to the actual video. A three, a two, and one. I hope someone makes this in my eyes. short stories in a comic or something. That'd be cute. <laughs> and funny. Green is stone. Great pony. And the hat is, uh... Nails. The dark hood went to the right. Pumpkin. Philly on the left. I'm so tired. I run over to him and looked around. Are you okay? Oh, you very... damn. I reached for my saddlebag and grabbed a bottle of water and gave it to him. Ew. He sat there and started to drink it slowly. He drank the whole bottle and looked at me. <laughs> um, why are you helping me? Well, that's a stranger. I thought you needed help, so yeah. Heh, I'm stoned. I'm sure you are stoned. <laughs> I'm nails. Oh, this is how they met. Okay, Hi. I get it. Cool name. I heard the raiders getting close, but they they're couldn't still see us. Before their adventure on episode one. Stone, where the fuck are you? I looked at him with a frown. Is that his dad? I'm over here, sir. What did you find there? Anything good? I found um a colt, sir. Nails started to run, Do we need to write every in front of fucking Scott, name for every character in this magic. thing because I can't remember any of them. <laughs> Hello there. You're gonna give us a good price. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume the voice is his dad. Wait, Sky, sir, I found him. Yep. He's mine. Oh, really? <laughs> He's your slave, huh? Funny you can't even take care of yourself, Stone. Well, screw the raiders you. started to laugh. Uh-huh. Fuck all of you. <laughs> I'm tired of you assholes. All you keep telling me and saying what I have to do. He's mine. 
I found him, and I will teach him what he has to learn and do. You're gonna so get put hit. him down <sighs> now. He is mine. The silence built up as the raiders looked at me, and then looked at Sky. Oh. Heh. <laughs> wow. I didn't expect that from you, kid. You're learning. <laughs> hmm, I was expecting Fine. to beat the shit out of him. You keep him and teach this His little kid. bastard. He threw nails in front of me. Nails is taller than him. Yeah, what the work. fuck? He's not little. I guess to his ass. I, I helped suppose. nails up, looked at him and smiled. He didn't return it. I waited for them to go. You away. wouldn't smile too if you were You're turning into a slave. Huh? No, I did that to save you. He would sell you for money, or worse, rape you. And I'm uh, um, sorry, I he's a stallion. Like oh, or not Cole, a slave. What, what? If you want to leave now, you can. He sighed and looked at me. Fuck it. I got nowhere to go. So I true. <laughs> Wait, what? That's you my reaction too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna keep me safe, so why not? I actually smiled for once. I was happy. Year after year, I taught him everything. We slept together, we helped the slaves, we always were trying to find ways to keep them safe. That's we nice. grew up together, and we were together ever since that day. Uh, Stone, why are you looking at me with a smile? That Here. doesn't sound disturbing at huh? all. Um, what? Oh, well, I was just thinking about you. Gay he put his hat down, covering his face. Or gay cults? Was he... Was he blushing? Heh, <laughs> weird. Don't worry about it. Just remembering the good times. <laughs> yeah, they were good times. So, Pumpkin, right? You're 205 years old? Wow, that's a lot of stories. Uh, I thought he was only 24. Father asked me, smooth bro. I ain't telling you anything. Oh, come on now, tell us something. Nails fixes his hat. Yeah, you could tell us. We'd like to hear it. The ghoul looks at both of us and sighs. Fine. If I tell you, will you leave me alone? We both nodded. Once upon a time in the land of Equestria, two princesses rule the world, one called Celestia and one called Luna. Celestia controlled and raised the sun. Luna raised the... Uh, moon. Do you want to tell the story? No, uh... Sorry. Anyway, Equestria back then was peaceful, beautiful, green grass everywhere. And lovey dovey. We didn't harm until the day that we stopped giving the zebras gems. The zebras needed the gems to make talismans to keep them safe from creatures and monsters on their land. We cut the supply line and that cut the coal. The ponies needed coal for everything. Without coal, no energy, no power. So the ponies decided to take the coal using force. And that caused the zebras to fight back. Damn. So we started all this? Pumpkin nodded. Why? Couldn't negotiate? This Princess Luna was in command and she gave the order to the Ministry Mayors. They had to start creating weapons to help the war. The zebras retaliated by throwing gas at a school called Little Horn. Wow, so that's just down. dark. In the war between ponies and zebras got worse. They created mega spells and boom, here we are. So I don't They're see zebras being that much of a threat. How do you know all this? I was about to ask that. I was a soldier myself. All I remember was I was dragging my friend because he got shot and I heard the noise. And the bright I mean, this makes sense if it was dragons, around. griffins. I woke up like this. But zebras? This is all I know. The only one we know is Sakura, and she's friendly. Sad. Well, enough storytelling, I guess. Wow, I can't believe that the ponies started all this. Well, that's what happens when you have a lot of power. It gets out of control and shit happens. Oh, uh, yep. I nodded and sighed, looking out at the dark night, out at the wasteland, imagining how the world that we lived in now, back then, was beautiful. It's just too much to ask for, right? Yeah, it was. But this is the world we found ourselves now, and we have to do everything to survive and live through all of this. The night was cold. Nail and I always slept next to each other. I don't know why he liked to sleep next to me, really. Yeah, I can warm, think of a reason. <laughs> but it's cool, actually. I don't really care. 
but I started to hear a howl. It was from far away, but I kept hearing it. Don't explain that the in the background. I opened my eyes and saw Nail's head on my side, and he was laying his head on my back, sleeping. I smiled. Aww. Hey, buddy. Yep, they're gay. If you wanted to use me as a pillow, you could have just said it, you know. Uh, what? What? <laughs> oh, sorry. He jumped, and I chuckled. It's fine. We they're gonna bang like later on, aren't they? Yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. What is that? Timber wolf. wolf. Probably. The hell is a timber wolf? It's like a big dog made of wood. <laughs> Judging by how loud it is, it's a big one. But it's a different how. What do you mean? Don't know. Don't care. I'll be asking for help. There's a bunch of raider traps around there. We should go check it out. And no. Well, hell no. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The dark after night. We were walking towards the howls and the chain noises. And by the Hoping goddesses, you guys know it was loud. The actual one who's talking, not the narration. I try my best. One person couldn't figure it out. But it's kind of hard with these. Definitely sounds like it's chained. I hate you guys. Shh. He won't stop till he knows what it is. It's a timber wolf. Bass Celestia's. No freaking hard to tell. Not really hard to tell, I mean. We found a big timber wolf stuck under two wagons and chains around its neck. That's a big one. Start a fire. Can we just <laughs> leave now? What are they gonna do with that thing? Kill it. Judging by what I know, it's a freaking timber wolf. It. <sighs> we gotta do something. Oh god damn it. Move oh have you lost your mind? Yeah, they'll gobble you up, you dumbass. You under there? I would probably be dead. Or worse. Let's go. What's worse Stone, than death? Are you sure <laughs> about this? Stone. Fuck. I was already sliding down the hill, holding a branch in my mouth, walking towards the big beast. T damn it! This is crazy. I'm I crazy. I think Timberwolf's teeth can be poisoned, so you're gonna die. You better get your boyfriend away from it. Bark <laughs> loudly, and I covered my ears. Stone, are you nuts? Yep. I thought I was dumb. He is stoned I'm after all. <laughs> I'm freeing this thing. If you don't want to help, stay up there. Damn it! He Not slid the down the hill decision. and walked over to me. Goddamn smooth coat. He does the same. Okay, okay, let's see. Any ideas? I looked around for anything useful. Well, make sure the wolf doesn't want to devour you first. Maybe. Looks dirty enough we can I'm just saying, the maybe pet it, make sure it's nice was your friend. I ran to the machine and jumped inside the cabin, seeing all those buttons. Well, fuck. <laughs> what? I don't know how to start this thing. Uh, out of the way. He pushed nails aside and yelled. This is why I can only make videos in the mornings. Everyone's too goddamn loud in the okay. afternoon. I turned the key and the button started to glow and a few screens too. Okay, maybe I know how to use this. Um, oh, there. Um, I push the buttons while the hook slides down and falls on top of the metal wagons and it got hooked in the window. Hit the reverse button. Unfortunately, I didn't hear what he was Got getting it. into. I'm assuming it's a tractor or while something. Goes up. Or a backup. Nice job. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. Now it's free weekend. The big timber wolf got up and started destroying the chains around him and looked at me. You're dead. Num num pony. Get the hell out of there! Run! I started to run, and the timber wolf ran after me. I went into a dead end of the old scrapyard you and looked dumbass. behind me. While the timber wolf walked over to me, I pressed my back against the wall. While it got closer, you mean your I butt could feel his breath. 
I could see his green eyes, and he stopped. I put my hooves out in front of me, shaking and sweating, and it stepped forward and touched his muzzle against my hoof and looked at me in the eyes. Kind of like the How to Train Your Dragon movie. What in the... What? Kindness goes a long ways. I was petting the creature four times bigger than me. He stepped back and turned, running away, to the wasteland free. I sat there trying to cry, but I couldn't. Trying to understand, but I couldn't. Everything inside me now was just blank. Because you showed something up when he's ever she could show in a what long time. Kindness. What happened? I've never seen anything like it. I'll tell you that. I guess that's one hell of a way of saying thanks. He hugged me close. Are you okay? Um, oh, uh... Don't oh, just kiss yes. already. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> we both started to laugh. What did I put myself into? I hate you too. He <laughs> laughed as well, the you cop did. <laughs> Dumb zombie we thing. get the hell out of here before they come back. Yes, let's go. We walked back, but the day was coming already. We stopped at the house and gathered the rest of our gear, and Pumpkin looked at us. So, um, you are going? Yeah? Why? Yeah? Why? Do you want to come with us? Oh, well, what can an old ghoul do? You're very smart, and I'm sure you know how to use a gun too, don't you? The ghoul chuckled. Well, fuck. Uh, Oh. <laughs> we started to walk into the wasteland once more, leaving the old house behind us. I guess that's chapter two. It's actually pretty good. At least I was able to gather some intel on this one. I still want to play that game. Fire Equestrian. I think that's just a board game. I don't have very many brewies around here, so I can't really play that. Not driving distance anyway, or bus distance. But the actual Fallout game, I really do want to play, like, Fallout. Then there was one four, I think. But besides that, yeah, that's very interesting. I wish I could make my videos better. Because, uh, I'm still an amateur. Made these videos for years, and I'm still crappy at it. But then I have a crappy computer, so... Not much I can do. Plus, I'm not really sure if I want to devote that much time into these. Because I'm just make I'm not making these for the money. I'm just making this just for the hell of it. But, um... How should I say uh, uh, From me, I can never think of what else to say. People are like, oh, write it there, write it down. Well, unless you have something you really want to write, then you write down. It's like me at the sort. Don't really write shit down. But, yeah, I definitely plan to do more reactions of these. I'm probably going to have to change my voice so you guys can hear it better. Even have to have it duck a bit. Because when it ducks, it basically, when you talk over it, it fades. So actually, you guys will know because I have already would have already been done it. So this conversation would... Be kind of pointless. I'll probably just delete it. But anyway, hope you guys have a nice day.